What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to an illustrator tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to use the stroke and the fill and uh, how to speed up your artwork or your graphics in Illustrator twice as fast, like really quick. And this will help you get your stuff and your artwork done much quicker and uh, in an easier way as well. So I'm going to get started. So what you guys don't know, if you, or if you don't know what the stroke is and the fill, stroke and fill is pretty much the, if I were to go ahead and zoom in right here into our text, and of course we're working with vector, uh, so we are within uh, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so here is my text, I have stroke and then I have and and fill. Now a stroke is pretty much the the color or the gradient that goes around your text or your object or your shape, whatever it is. In this case, it's our text. So, uh, uh, you know, the stroke will be the outside. So, you know, of our text, each letter. Um, the fill is pretty much uh, the color of our object or your text or whatever. Um, and I'm trying to make this as simple as possible for you guys that are new to Illustrator or if you guys are, at, you know, in advanced uh, in Illustrator and this will be kind of boring because you guys, you guys already kind of know what this is but I'm pretty sure you guys don't know what the shortcuts are for the stroke and fill so if I wanted to go ahead and we look over to the bottom left so this is our stroke and our fill if you look right here that's our stroke our fill sorry and this is our stroke currently we have it set to none because there is no stroke um, now if I want to go ahead and fill that with a color I could go over to our color menu right here or color window if you guys don't have that open, just go over to Window on the top menu bar. If you're on a Mac, that's how it's going to be. If you're on a PC, it's going to look a little bit different. Same thing though, everything's the same, except different layout. So go over to Window, and you will see Color, and make sure that's checked. You could also press F6 for the shortcut. So once you have done that, and you have your object selected, or your text selected, um, you can go ahead and mess around with the color. So you can see the text is you know changing. I can make it uh, purple, which I actually like that kind of purple. So, um, yeah, you could go with purple, and you could also increase the stroke. So if you go over to the top, you can see stroke. Now, if I click on that, you're going to bring up a new window. If you click right here, it just brings up the point. In other words, kind of pixels, if you're familiar with Photoshop. The bigger the number, the more thick the uh, stroke will be. Uh, so if we keep it to three, three is pretty good. I like it. You could also just change up the stroke. Now, when you're changing the stroke color, make sure you have it selected right here. Now, here comes the shortcuts. If you want to go ahead and move around without actually going and you know leaving your artwork, just clicking here, because you you could accidentally you know click something wrong and then switch up the colors, and that just messes up you know one your object or whatever you're doing, you know your color. And, you know, two, it's, it just takes a lot of time just to go back and fix it. So if you press, um, was it a shift X, whoops, this will allow you to switch between the color. So if I, so our fill right now is at black, right? If I hold shift and X, this will just pretty much swap the colors. So that's uh, pretty interesting. If you guys want to do that really quick, instead of just going here, copying the color going back you could just press shift x and you're done you just saved like 20 seconds <laughs> um now if you want the default stroke and fill so say you messed up the colors um and say you had an orange an ugly orange and blue well actually that doesn't look really bad but there there is some colors that look really bad but here's you know our stroke is blue and our fill is yellow you can see right here stroke is yellow and our stroke is blue uh, or fill is orange, my bad. So if you want to make this, you know, to the default, you could just click right here, and that will set it to default uh, fill and stroke. So the D the fill will be white, and our stroke will be black. Or you could just press D on your keyboard, and you're done. Uh, so that's you know another shortcut you guys could know. Um, the next one is you can toggle between your active selections. So if I select my text and I have it right now, it's currently set to fill. I press X and that will just allow me to quickly select um, the stroke or the fill. You're not really messing around with the colors, you're not swapping them whatsoever. All you're doing is you're just switching between the stroke and the fill. 
So say I wanted to, you know, change up the stroke, I could just, you know, press X, here it is, and then I want like a yellow, and kaboom, there it is. Cool. Now make sure you always select it, uh, or else it's not going to apply it. So just click your object or your text. Now if you want to apply this a gradient, so now we've known the default stroke, we know how to swap our attributes, in other words, our, uh, our stroke and our fill, by pressing shift X, this will allow you to quickly uh, swap the colors. Uh, and we also know how to toggle between our active selection. So since now we know how to do that, if I press X and I wanna go ahead and make our uh, fill a gradient, we could easily do that by pressing the, looks like a, um, I don't know what this is really called, but I, you're gonna see it on the screen right now. Looks like a, I can't really explain it really. I do not know the, the shortcut name for that or the symbol name for that, but this will allow you to switch over to the gradient and you can apply gradients within this, uh, you know, this window right here. If you guys don't have that window, just go over to window and then go to gradient and the shortcut is command F9. I, I love shortcuts. It just makes everything so much easier as you guys already know. Linear, that's what I want. I could easily switch between the colors by pressing the down arrow. I could do orange to yellow. And uh, so if I select it, you can see it's applied, but you can't really see it here. Um, so make sure we go over to our gradient, which is here. Whoops. It was not selected. Um, press V. I swear there is a way to do this. I just don't remember. Anyway, that's the green. I can't really um, explain it, to be honest. Sorry. Um, but the next one is um, you could apply none. Uh, in other words, if I want to go ahead and switch this to none, so I could just press the forward slash, and that will just fill it with nothing. So none. You could also just, you know, let me press Command Z. If I press X, this will allow us to switch, right? Switch, my voice just cracked. <laughs> I could press X and then uh, select the forward slash and I will, get re I will remove it. So that's a quick way of uh, doing it instead of going over to selecting it here and clicking this little, uh, looks like a red line going across the little square. If you select that, it does the same thing, but what's the fun in that, right? <laughs> So again, if we go over here, and you could also have the tools right here. You have gradient, you have a solid color. So if you wanted to go back, you can just click the back. I really don't know what that is. You guys can tell me in the description or in the comment section. That would be awesome. But yeah, um, that's what it is. So cool. So if we had it as a gradient, we can just press this key right here once we select our text. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a cool feature to know. And uh, if I also wanted to kind of copy the, um, what is it, the color, if you pull down shift and click the key, you will have all of the, like, uh, how should I say, the color picker window. And you could also just double click this right here, and it will just bring it up, or just double or click it once. You can hold shift, and then uh, it brings up the same thing. Now, if you double click our fill, the little box there, it will bring up the color picker window. And here is our hex code. You can just copy that. Um, or an easier way is to select whatever you want to copy and then go over to the eye dropper tool or just press I and then select over a color you want to trace or copy and select it and make sure it is, um, we just want to copy the color for some reason. I don't know why it's selecting that. But yeah, I mean, it does pretty much the same thing. It literally copies everything here. Um, so I don't know why it's not selecting just the color. I don't want the font with it as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the uh, how to use the stroke and the fill. And if I confused you, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I tried my best to kind of keep it simple. I don't want to really want to go crazy with this. So yeah, and another thing I forgot to tell you is, you guys, if you select your uh, your text or your object. Uh, you can s select this, the swap and fill, which is the one I just told you, shift X. Everything's right here, except if you hover over it, it will just tell you the shortcut. So that's just, you know, for information. FYI, 
And uh, so yeah, um, if we go over to the top, you can see the colors as well. And right here is the same thing with the stroke. So if right now we have no stroke currently selected, so we switch X, then we go over here, and then we could apply a 10% or a 10 point um, uh, stroke. So I can select like, I don't know, purple. That looks really, really girly <laughs> right now. But uh, yeah, so if this helps you in any way, then please leave a like in the description. That'll be much, or in the uh, rating section. <laughs> That'll be much appreciated. Comment below if you guys want more tutorials uh, like this one. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out.